it's it's a really good idea to go into the demo yeah, quick, yeah, yeah. quickly yeah. so that people can can sort of see what so, they're so touching. Roughly speaking, this is like will explain the future yeah. that we're we're aiming at and um and, and and like what it is today, what what we people think it should be, what we think it should be, and where we at today, which is yes. what you see right I now. Love, I love this one when you showed it to me. Yeah. So yeah. so I think like this is like uh like what we're going to announce and like uh wh where we're we aiming at. But I think the demo would be better to. Uh, to start with okay let's do it okay sorry uh, yeah and, and try to make your f your screen size bigger uh, command plus okay, okay. One second, let me do Th this is the, my developer relations hat uh <laughs> so you need to sh to uh, shrink your uh, menu uh, the the uh, uh, this one at uh, the apple mac bar the, the this one yeah yeah uh, i so think like uh you can just right click on the space between your uh, yeah there and you just Position on screen. Turn heading on. Yeah. yeah, yeah. There you go. And then do like this. And then you can you can maximize your screen. Yeah. It looks looks better. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Like one second. I have this one. <laughs> I like to do these. And then. Uh, and then make your font size bigger. So this one is better. Uh, yeah, because half of the audience will be watching on their phones. Okay. <laughs> really? Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, cool. Okay, that that's uh, actually now that I think about it, I my the last episode I I, I watched <laughs> on my phone. That's right. Okay. Uh, bigger. <laughs> bigger. Okay, I hope it will work well with the uh, coding cipher. Uh, okay, shrink it if it. you need to. Yeah, shrink okay, it. Okay. Right, right. Uh, so whenever you're ready, we can start. Uh, oh, then uh, hide the hide the screen sharing thing at the bottom. Yeah. Sorry, I, I'm very picky about no, this. No, you're you're. <laughs> I I love that. It's amazing. <laughs> okay, you're good. Okay. We're good to go. Yes. How's the audio, David? Oh, it's great. Still good. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Cool. So. Like I said, Codium AI is right now is an IDA extension. Uh, for example, I'm showing VS Code, and uh, if you just install it, like you'll have a few access points uh, to start Codium AI, whether this uh, sidebar or above every component or class that we think is very good to check with uh, Codium AI, you'll have this small button. There's other way you can mark a specific code and right click and, and run Codium, but this one is my favorite because we actually choose uh, an above which components we suggest to to use Codium. Okay. So once I click it, uh, Codium AI starts analyzing um, this uh, uh, this class, but not only the cla this class, but al also er almost everything that is uh, being used by the call center class, but al and what call center is, is calling. And uh, so we do like a, a static code analysis, etc. What what we talked about, and then um, Codium AI provides with uh, code analysis. It's right now uh, uh, static, like you can't change it, can't edit, edit it, and maybe later we'll talk about it. This is what we call the specification, and we're going to make it, or maybe I'll announce it a bit later, we're gonna make it editable, uh, so you can add additional behaviors, uh, change things, and, and then create accordingly tests that will not pass, and then the code will, will change accordingly. So that's one entrance point, like via natural language description. That's one of the things that we're, we're working on. Right now, what I'm showing you, by the way, could be downloaded as is. It's like what, what we have in production. The second thing that we show here is uh, like a full test suite. There are six tests um, by default, and uh, but you can just generate more, uh, almost as much as, as much as you want. Every time we'll try to cover something else, like a happy path, edge case, um, etc. Uh -huh. And and then you can you can uh, talk with a specific tests. Okay, like uh, you can suggest I want this in Spanish or <laughs> give me in a few languages or I, I, want, I want much more employee. I didn't go over what's a call center, but basically it manages like call center. So you can imagine. And, uh, and, and, and I can make like, I can a ask for, make it more rigorous, etc. But I don't want to complicate, I want to make it short so it'll flip the screen, so I'm keeping it as, uh, as is. By the way, there's quite a few, a few features here, but let's uh, go, well, I want to show you the next one, which is uh, run all tests. First, we, we verify that you're okay, we're gonna run it. I don't know, maybe we're connected to the environment that is currently uh, configured in the IDE. Mm -hmm. I don't know if it's production for some reason or no, I don't know what, then we're making sure that you're aware we're gonna run the code. At, uh, and then uh, once we run it, we show if it pass or fail. Uh, yes, I hope that we'll have one fail, uh, but I'm not sure it's uh, that interesting. So I'll, I'll go like to another example soon, but but just to give you an, uh, um, what uh, show you what's going on here that we actually give um, an example uh, of what's the problem. Sorry, we give the the um, uh, lo log of, of the error, and then you can do whatever you want. You can fix it by yourself, or you can click reflect and fix. 
okay? And what's going on ron- right now is a bit of s- a longer process where we do like chain of thought, ref- reflect and, uh, and fix, and we can suggest a, so- a solution. Um, uh, you can run it, and uh, in this case, it passes, just an example. This is a very simple example. Maybe later I'll show you a bug, um, um, and, and I think I'll do that. I'll show you a bug and how we recognize actually the test it's not a problem in the test. It's a problem in the code. Mm. And then suggest so you fix that instead of the code. Mm. I think you see where I'm getting mm-hmm. at. Yes. Okay. The other thing is that there, there are a few code suggestions, and there could be a, a lot of, uh, sorry, not a lot of, uh, a dozen of, of types. Like, could it be related to performance, modularity, or uh, um, I see in this case there is a maintainability. Uh, there could also be vulnerability or best practices or even suggestion for bugs. Like, if we notice, if we sync one of the tests, for example, uh, is failing because of a bug. We will also uh, suggest a code, uh, do that and co- um, present that in the code suggestion. Probably you can choose a few, for example, if you like, and and then uh, prepare a code change. I, I didn't show you which exactly. Uh, we're making a diff now, like that you can apply apply on your code. Um, so basically, what what we're seeing here is that there are three main tabs: the code, the test, and the code analysis. Let's call call it spec. We're going to get back to that. <laughs> Because these three yeah, are very important. You're uh, foreshadowing this so heavily. <laughs> yeah, and 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 then and then there is a fourth tab, which is a code suggestion, like like if you want to look like analytics, etc. Mm-hmm. Right now, code. Uh, okay, so this is like the change, uh, quite a big change. Uh, I probably clicked on something. So so that's like uh, uh, the the basic demo. Um, I, what I, what I'll go really quickly. An additional feature, but I just want to show you the how. It's not like so comprehensive. It's it's simple, but they're like important features. I won't show everything, yes, but I want to give we you. Yes, we want like all the details. Okay, so for for example, w- like right now, uh, let's be frank. Like I, I wanted to show like a simple uh, example. So it's a call center. All the inputs to the to the class are like relatively simple. There is no JSON input. Mm-hmm. Like and usually, if you're I don't know like Spadia or whatever, you have a JSON with the hotel, the Airbnb. I don't know. So uh, the test will be almost like too simple or not covering enough your code if you don't provide it with some input w- that is, is valuable, like a JSON with all the information or YAML or whatever. So you can actually uh, add input data. And the uh, AI, our, our, our model, uh, it's actually, by the way, uh, a set of models <laughs> and, and algorithms that will use that uh, input to create interesting um, uh, tests. And, and another thing is like many people uh, have some uh, reference tests that they own already made. Uh, it could be because they m- they already made it, or or because they want like a very specific. Uh, they have like how they imagine the test, so they just write one, and then you add as a reference, and that will inspire all the rest of the tests. So and also you can give like hints. This is by the way uh, planned to be like uh, dynamic hints, like for different type of code, we will provide different hints, so we can help you come a bit more knowledgeable about how to test test your code. Uh, so you can ask for uh, uh, like having a, a given <laughs> when then, or or you can have like add a funny pirate like doc string make a different uh, joke for each test. Uh, for I'm example. curious why why did you choose that one? Th- the, this the is pirate a, one. Yeah, interesting choice to put. Oh my in god, your it could be like uh, 11 p.m. Uh, <laughs> people <laughs> sitting around. Let's choose one funny thing and yeah. So two know. serious ones and one funny one. Yeah. Uh, just for the uh, listening audience, can you read out the other hints that you decided on as well? Yeah. So specifically, like uh, f- for this case, relatively very simple class. So there's not much to do, but I'm gonna go uh, to one more thing here on the okay. configuration. But it basically is given when then style. It's one of the best practices in tests. So. Um, actually, even Human when X, yeah, when Y, yeah, then for do e- even when I report a bug, for example, as a uh, if I'm a uh, if, if I'm a developer, f- I found a bug in someone else code. Usually, I want to say like, given uh, I use use this environment or use that this way, when I run this function, etc., oh, then it's a very um, very full report. Uh, yeah, yeah th- then this is what happens. Yeah, and you, it's very common to use that in like in unit test and I have never been shown this format so, so th- th- that's amazing because um, like I, I love that you you mentioned that because I think like uh, as if you go to CS uh, and, and like undergrad undergrad or so y- usually like I don't think you, you like so many courses in, in, in development but none of them probably in testing yeah and and it's so important so why would you and you don't go to y- Udemy or whatever and, and do no. a f- testing course right like yeah. it's it's boring like people either don't do uh, component level testing because they hate it or they do it and they hate it. 
and and I think part of it is because they're missing tool to make it uh, fun and and also like usually you don't, you don't get yourself educated about it because you want to write your code and part of what we're trying to do here is help people get smarter about testing and make it like easy so this is like very common and the idea here is that for different type of code we'll def we'll suggest different type of hints to make you more more knowledgeable we're doing it like uh, a so in soft way like um slight like um not not we don't want to push you it's not an education gentle, yeah. Yeah, gentle. it's not an education uh, app but um but we want to help uh, developers become smarter, knowledge more knowledgeable about this this field. Uh, okay, so and, and another one is moking. Yeah. So right now the the our model uh, like our, our system um, decided that there's no need for moking here, which is a good decision. But uh, if we would go to real world case, like by the way, I'm I'm part of the auto auto GPT community. Yes. And we'll there's and, that, and yeah. there's a lot of tooling going on there, right? And maybe uh, when I want to test like a specific component and it's relatively clear that going to the web and doing some search and coming back one of the tools, I don't really need to do that. Like I, I know what I expect to do and so I can moke that part of using the crawl the web or, or whatever. And uh, so in, in like um, a certain ac certain percentage of accuracy, like around 90, we will decide this is worth smoking and we will inject it. Like I can click about it now and, and, and force the model, to force our system to moke this but you would feel like a bit stupid moking because it really doesn't make sense. So I chose this pirate stuff, um, like uh, add funny pirate-like doctoring, make a different joke for each test, and I forced it to, to add mokes. And uh, when I regenerate, so um, so uh, when I regenerate, all the tests were, were, were deleted, and, uh, and now we're creating new, new six tests, and you, you see Here's the shiver me timbers, <laughs> the test checks, <laughs> the call successful. Probably there is a, a like there is some joke uh, at the end, but but the second thing is that um, yeah. So in this case, like even if you try to force it uh, uh, to moke, uh, it didn't happen because there's nothing. But we might find here like stuff that uh, it moked that that really doesn't make sense uh, because because there's nothing to moke here. So so that's a uh, uh, one thing I. I, I can show a demo where we actually catch a bug, and, and I really love that to see that um, developers are, are saying, like, we <laughs> you know how it is, you're building a developer tool, so the best thing you can see, like, uh, developers that you don't know, uh, giving you five stars and, yes. and, and, and sharing mm -hmm. with you stuff. We have a Discord with thousands of, of users, but, but I don't know, I love to see the... the, the Individual the, reports, yeah. Yeah, the, the most, and for example, this was one of my favorites, one, like, it helped me to find two, two bugs. Uh, because eventually, uh, as I mentioned, our vision is to reach zero bugs. Like, if you may say, we want to clean the internet from bugs. <laughs> <laughs> so, so that so debugging the internet. Yeah, I have so, my so, podcast so, uh, title. <laughs> so, so I think like if we move to another example, uh, do we have the time for that? Or yes, yes, okay. please, please. This is great. Okay, so uh, I'm moving to a bit of dif different um, example because uh, it's the bank account. Yeah, of course. If by the way, if you go to ChatGPT. And, and you can ask me, what's the difference between Codium AI and using ChatGPT? Mm. I'm, I'm like giving you this uh, hard question right now. Yeah. So uh, so if you ask ChatGPT, give me an example uh, to test the uh, code. Uh, it might give you this bank account. It's like the one-on-one stuff, right? And, and uh, one of the reason I gave it because it's easy to inject bugs here that's easy to understand. Anyway, and what I'm going to do right now is like uh, this bank account, I'm going to change the deposit from plus to minus uh, as an example. And then I'm going to run uh, Codium similarly to how I did before. Like it suggests to uh, do that for the entire class. Um, and then there, there is the code analysis um, soon. Uh, and uh, when we announce uh, very, very soon, it's part of this po podcast is part of it. Uh, it's going to have more features here in the code analysis. We're going to talk about it. Yep. And, and, then, and then there is the test that uh, I can run. And uh, the question is that if, if we're going to catch the, bu the bugs, using running the tests, uh, because who knows, maybe this implementation is the right one. Right. Uh, like you need to, to converse with the developer. Maybe in this weird bank, bank you, you deposit and, and <laughs> the bank takes money mm -hmm. from you. And, uh, and we can talk about how this happens. Um, but, but actually you can see already here <laughs> that we're already suggesting like it's a hint that yeah. we're already suggesting something is wrong here. And here is a suggestion to put it from minus to, to plus. So, so believe me just to like, so we can move forward. If I try to run this test, um, and and uh, and it some of fail. them, yeah. that some of them will fail, yeah. and we'll try to uh, reflect and, and fix, and then we will see actually the m the model so telling you, hey, maybe this is not a bug in the test, maybe it's in, in the code. So that's uh, oh, here we go. 
and uh, and you get the information about it. It's down here. It's oh, that sorry. This this is another bug. Oh no. Uh, anyway, you, you got the you got the point. Mm -hmm. um, so that that's it about the demo. Uh, let me know if to double click somewhere or to move to the to move to the um, 